Hello and welcome everybody to another online lesson. Uh, today we will be revising the first lesson in our student's book, the eighth unit, page number 90. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, we are going to talk about the uh, meaning of the words that are in the yellow box. Okay, so the first word we have here is consumer which means people who use up and consumes anything, okay? Consume things and use up things. We call these kind of people consumers. Normally, all of people or everybody is a consumer for something, okay? Any product got consumed is consumed by us as a human being, okay? The second word is contaminate. Contaminate means uh, to pollute or the pollution of something, okay? Contaminate is to pollute. Dispose, which means get rid of something, okay? When you do not need uh, a specific thing anymore, you just throw it away, get rid of it, okay? And that's the meaning of dispose of, okay? The next word, which is persuade, it means to encourage someone to do something. Or to insist on someone to do something uh, using words in order to convince other people of the idea that you have or the product that you have and want to sell prolong which means to extend the life of something extend the usage of a product repair to fix so repair means to fix something when something gets broken, you need to fix it uh, or repair it, let's say. Swap is to exchange, to give something in order to receive another thing that is maybe alike or different sometimes. So, e-waste, a global problem. E-waste means the waste that is related to electronics. So the letter E here is for electronic wastes. Okay, a, a global problem. Global, which means uh, for the whole world. Okay, not just one country or two. The whole world suffer from e-waste. Okay, e-waste is fast becoming a serious global problem. It is becoming a serious uh, worldwide uh, problem. This report will examine the problem and provide some possible solutions. Okay, so in this uh, report, we will be examining or studying or understanding the problem and provide some possible solutions or answers to deal with this problem. So, first, in order to understand any problem and find a solution for it, you need to understand the source of this problem, right? So, the source of e-waste, we live in a society that constantly produces and consumes electronic products. So, this society, constantly, which means always, it never stops okay from producing and consuming never stops people always produce and consume these electronic products it is often cheaper to buy new pieces of uh, of equipment than to repair old ones okay uh, that's why people actually go and buy new pieces because why would i repair something if buying a new one is actually cheaper than the cost of repairing it okay uh, clever advertising persuades consumers to swap their old tvs mobile phones and computers for the la for the latest models so uh, the propagandas on the tv consumes uh, persuade the consumers uh, to buy the newer products and give up on the old ones even though uh, they might be still working okay 
in addition to some companies design products in such a way that they quickly beca uh, become out of date or useless okay this is known as planned obsolescence obsolescence planned obsolescence so what is planned obsolescence is to it is to give the product uh, an age let's say for example after 10 years uh, this product will be no use you cannot use it anymore and uh, a good example for that which is the iPhone mobiles okay for example uh, the ISO uh, always uh, keeps uh, up upgrading itself so uh, you need to upgrade your phone let's say every two months at least and after a period of time the phone will not be upgraded anymore so you need to swap it with another uh, phone which is uh, newer for example what is the difference between the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8 there is no no huge difference but you need to swap it anyway in order to keep upgrading okay so this is what the companies do in order to get more customers to buy uh, their products okay so the amount of e-waste generated every year worldwide is estimated to be around 50 million tons okay the amount which means the uh, quantity of e-waste or the size of the e-waste that generated yearly from the world uh, is 50 million tons okay that's like uh, throwing away 1000 laptops each second the 50 million tons is like throwing away 1000 laptops in a second which means it's a huge amount that uh, actually hard to be imagined so right now we under we knew the source of the e-waste so how uh, are e-waste uh, a problem in a, in a way so what is the problem of e-waste so here say uh, they say dumping e-waste in landfills or burning it causes serious problems for the environment okay dumping them in the landfills and uh, burning them is the main cause of the problem and the reason behind that why uh, because electronic products contain dangerous chemicals and metals these substances contaminate land water and air okay because these products actually have chemicals within them okay inside of them they have some chemicals that will harm the environment and contaminate uh, land water and air so what are the solutions for this problem first here we have repair cafes okay many neighborhoods now have repair cafe a repair cafe where people can take items to be repaired okay so what is a repair cafe repair cafe it is a place where people take their things in order to repair them okay uh, for free or for small donation donation means to give money for let's say uh, no specific reason but to help others this is the meaning of donation okay this is a great way to prolong the life of your products and save money at the same time so repair cafes is a good way to prolong extend the life of your products and save money because you will not pay that much money you only need to do to donate small amount of money or sometimes you get it for free okay so this is good for you you will repair your things and save your money at the same time the second way is the global recycling schemes okay in recent years many countries have started recycling e-waste 
However, these schemes are not always managed properly and often or often okay so this word often and often could be wrote, uh, read in both ways okay often or often uh, often electronics are just sent to developing countries where they can cause damage to the environment and illness in those uh, people handling them setting up recycling uh, centers in the countries that create the e-waste could solve this problem by recycling the parts that can be uh, reused and properly disposing of the rest so uh, how does global recycling schemes help uh, by making these recycling uh, places in these countries and reuse the parts that could be reused and dispose uh, of the parts that cannot be reused properly the main thing here is to disposing is to dispose of the things properly instead of uh, just throwing them uh, in that way the third way which is take back policy and it's another solution is to hold manufacturers responsible for uh, the their used products okay so hold someone responsible for means to give him the responsibility to deal with that thing this could mean forcing them to take back old products that are no longer wanted and properly recycling or reusing them okay so this policy uh, forces these companies uh, to take back their old products and recycle them in a specific way in order to make use of them instead of throwing them away so the fourth solution is consuming less and this solution is uh, connected strongly to us as consumers okay uh, we can all reduce the amount of uh, waste we pr produce by buying electronical uh, elec electrical products only when we have to okay we do not need to buy every new electrical products we only buy them when we uh, have to buy them for example I need a phone and I do not have one so I go and buy a new phone but if I had an old phone why would I buy a new phone just for the sake of getting new stuff okay uh, how do we do that uh, which I mean how do we consume less by resisting the temptation to buy a product just to have the latest version we cut down on e-waste okay uh, by not being uh, pulled by the propagandas of the new products okay so every company when they produce a new thing they make uh, propagandas for it and showing it as it is the best uh, product you will ever have so we should not be tempted by uh, these uh, propagandas to buy new uh, electrical products okay so in conclusion e-waste is a serious issue in the modern world both manufacturers and consumers must accept their responsibilities and make an effort to keep it to a minimum uh, so this uh, e-waste problem uh, is a problem for everybody and everybody should be responsible about it whether they are the consumers of the electrical stuff or the producers of these electrical stuff so both of them uh, should make an effort to keep it to a minimum which means to make it as less as possible so this is all for today's lesson hope you all understood uh, these paragraphs okay and uh, please study hard for your exam it will not be hard but at the same time it will not be easy so uh, be careful about these uh, paragraphs and see you later